Okay, so I want to do number 19 and 18.1, which says I'm supposed to integrate over a curve C, the vector field 2j plus 3k, dotted with dr, where C is the y-axis from the origin up to 0, 10, 0. Okay? Where do you start? Well, I, I would turn the 2j plus 3k into um, like a vector so that we can see where it goes in the x, y, z coordinates. Draw a picture. Three different <laughs> All of those are really good suggestions. Let's do all three simultaneously. <laughs> so there's part of a picture. Uh, I think the other one was to convert this thing into a vector field, right? So that thing in my usual vector notation is what? Zero, two, <sighs> zero, two three. three. Dotted with dr. And then, what were you saying, Brio? I think that was a good idea. Can't you just cancel out the three because it already says that zero is equal to three? That's fine. Whatever you dot it, then you get it. Yeah, that seems legit. So really you're thinking, like, along this path, right, the z's aren't changing, right? So whatever I get in the z's is going to be useless. Well, really in the z's, right, it's zero, right? Because I'm going along the y-axis? Okay, that seems legit. So we're really trying to get this path's parameterization, right? So I think probably it's a good place to start to, like, write out an r of t. So D0, 2, R, 3, Y, is that So that on the y-axis, right, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, or and the z-coordinate are zero? Yep. Okay. What's, what goes in for the y-coordinate? You can be whatever you want. Yeah, who cares? Okay. But it's some kind of thing that goes from zero to ten, right? T is probably the easiest choice, but two T is fine. Let's do two T because you suggested that. Really Where did the two? Oh, the two came from that two? Should I not have? Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, it should be noted that that was not necessary. Okay. You guys all see that? Okay, so here's my R of T, right? So I have to go trot my path over here. So I need to integrate. And I put my vector field, and then I need to dot my vector field with something, and then put a dt here. Yes? Okay. I don't know, because I picked a parameter for my integral. Yeah. Right, your R of T doesn't have to be R of T, it could be R of Y, right? So you could do 0, Y, 0 as your parameterization, in which case you'll get, yeah. Okay. You guys cool with this? All right, so this guy should be R prime, right? Okay, so what's R prime for the R I chose initially? Not the one for you, no. Oh. Zero, two, zero. Okay, so that's R prime of T. What's your vector field evaluated at R? This thing should be F evaluated at R of T. What's your vector field? Yeah, the original vector field doesn't depend on x, y, or z, right? Yeah. So you just plug in 2, 3, you mean zero, no, two, three. I mean 0, 2, 3. Yeah. Okay? Now, where do my bounds go? That's the weird thing about this path. That oh, those bounds, 0, yeah. Uh, yeah, they go from 0 to 5. 
Sorry. Why do they go from 0 to 5? Because I did 2t instead of just t. Yeah, because this thing, right, needs to get from the origin up to the point 0, 10, 0. Right? So it gets to the origin at t is 0. It's at 0, 0, 0, right? And to get to 0, 10, 0, what did I plug in for t? 5. Weird. Feels all good with that? So we're going from 0 to 5. Cool, goal? Okay. Okay, do your dot product. So you get from 0 to 5 of what? 4 dt. 4 dt. Okay. So you get 20. Cool. Other things you could have done, like I think Bria probably did this. She was like, hey, don't be dumb. So to go on the y-axis from 0, 0 to 0, 10, 0, right? She's looking at this and she's thinking, hey, in there, x prime is, are you changing x? Nope. Are you changing z? Nope. Nope. Are you changing y? Yes. Yeah, so you just call y prime 1, no. right? She's just saying, eh, what the hell, you got to get from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 10, 0. May as well do it at one unit speed. That's really this guy. You guys see that? Okay, so then she says, hey, this guy here, I could think about that as the integral over C of, uh, let's see, there's no x's, right? So you pitch the x's, and then there's a 2dy and a 3dz. And then the dz is 0 because z prime is 0. Oh, did the dy and the dz come from the dr? You guys see that? Dot product? Yeah. That's really, right, this thought here is the same thought as the one I've been using. It's just that instead of writing the integral over c of f, of r of t dt you can write instead the integral over c of p dx plus the integral over c of q dy plus the integral over c of pq I think r is usually the next one r dz right so you just break it into the components, and she's noticing, hey, the x component is 0 because p is 0, or because x prime isn't changing, or because x prime is 0, right, the x isn't changing. And then the z is 0, right, the z component is 0, because z is not changing at all. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is that? we're saying that the vector field f is pqr. Yep, so the components, right, the p is the x component of the vector field f. The y component is the y component of the vector, sorry, q is the y component of the vector field, and r is the z component of the vector field. And then dx, dy, and dz are just x prime of t dt, right, chain rule. dy is y prime of t dt, and dz is z prime of t dt, all from the chain rule. You guys follow that? So your book asks you to flip back and forth from this notation to that one sometimes. Right? And that's a good trick to know. Because when we do Green's theorem, it's going to start with one of these and go to one of those. Cool, cool. Alright. Other thing on this one? What number was this again? Number 19. Oh, wait. One more thing. When I did this, what were my bounds in the y's? 0 to 10. 0 to 10. 0 to 10. You guys with me on that? Yeah. It is a little bit, you have to be just a little bit careful, right? This path was pretty special, so I got away with some trashy math. Because it's a straight line. 
Yeah, it's a straight line on an axis, right? So I got away with this, like, I just declared y prime to be 1. Did I see that? You can't always declare that stuff. Like, if you were parametizing a circle, definitely you don't get to declare y prime is 1, right? You got to get out of parameterization and figure out what y prime is. So you guys see that? Could you like change one of the numbers and show us? Like no, I'd have to change the whole path. I'll do one with a okay. with a different path. Okay. 